My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for over 25 years. And today, it's my first time at Steel City Downhill Track with, G with Jim and George from Specialized. And I'm finally, live ride viewing the Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Epic Evo Comp Carbon. I get that wrong every bloody time. Specialized Evo Comp. Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Comp Carbon. It isn't even that hard. So. This review has been a long time coming. Not because I haven't wanted to ride this bike, but because basically everyone else locally has wanted to ride this bike. This is just such a good all-rounder. And I know a bunch of the people who borrowed them have ended up buying them as well. So that's a pretty Impressive sign of how good a bike is. So what's so good? Well, for a start, you've got Fact 11 for M frame, full carbon frame, stays back end, full carbon, whereas a lot of brands on their entry level carbon bike will mix the carbon mainframe with an alloy rear end. And it's exactly the same carbon as you get on the top level S-Works bike, but just without carbon fiber linkage. So, I mean, that means you gain a hundred grams, but you're not paying nearly 10 grand for the bike. In fact, it's only just over four grand. And if we carry on talking about value compared to the Evo, that means not only are you getting a frame, another kit that means it's 1.5 kilos lighter than the alloy bike, but you're also getting GX rather than SX and NX in terms of your SRAM, and you've got the latest generation specialized tires, which are a proper bargain as well. Butcher T9 up front the soft compound and the extra damping and then eliminator like I say on the back for some extra speed you've got decent Roval wheels although they are relatively heavy so you could change them up to something like a Traverse SL and save 300 grams pretty easily and that would really make this bike pop and then you've got Fox 36 a rhythm fork and then Float X rear shock as well and the whole bike just flows and pumps beautifully like I say it's just such a fun neutral forgiving place even when you're someone who doesn't jump and you're on a proper jump trail <laughs> Get that leaning, guys. Hey, oh my god, I took off. <laughs> Regular viewers will know that is an unusual state for me. But this Stump Jumper Evo is just such a sorted package. Right, here we go again. And this time, I'm going to tell you that although that shock, that shock and fork package sounds pretty basic and there are to be fair there are times when that rhythm fork can't quite keep up even though it's got more travel than the back end it's not quite as controlled because that rx custom tune on that woo, ha -ha, left the ground in the corner look at me go on that float x at the rear it's proper good yes I'm leaving the ground. This is not going to go well in the end, I'm sure, but... And the other thing that makes this bike so good to ride fast is the geometry. So, 64 and a half degree head, 475 reach, and then 77 degree seat tube on this S4. But it's not just fixed at that. There's tons of adjustability through a chip at the rear and 
different headset cups so you can set it up anywhere from 63 which is crazy slack to 66 for kind of more alert agile steering feel but even in the default setting it just feels awesome a huge amount of geometry changes but they're really quick and simple to do especially as you get a little swap tool on the back of the bottle cage and that's just where the features and detailing start on this bike armor on the top and bottom of the chain stay to keep the back end quiet you've got ISCG mounts with a little chain tab fitted to keep your chain on and of course specialized are the people who introduced the whole idea of SWAT internal storage so you've got that proper full down tube capacity so I'm not allowed to say shredding or ripping anymore because nature but as I'm currently moving at an excited rate through nature I'm actually not only packing spare inner tube but a SWAT jacket and a jumbo sausage roll as well what to save all the hassle doing a separate tech video i'm just going to talk you through it dead quick here uh fox 36 rhythm fork stiff plush really really good for the money 160 mil travel t9 butcher front tire super grippy super trustworthy reasonably light sorted massive front brake rotor with code uh brake rs brakes on it so plenty of stopping power there internal cable routing that doesn't involve a horror show of a headset uh fully adjustable geometry up there from 63 to 66 degrees you have got another chip on the back end there which gives you high and low and that also changes the geometry by half a degree whereas that gives it by a degree uh 475 mil reach and then you've got a float x shock with a uh, specialized rx tune on it with this asymmetric strut design which yes you can see it on an Orbea, but uh, specialized actually got there first with the demo you've got this fu manchu link and the whole frame is 11m carbon the only difference to the s works is that bit there i've said all of this though so let's just let's just look at the pretty bits uh you know there's so much little attention to detail as well just that little rubber flap on there that stops stones getting down the back of the linkage there and causing any issues and proper sculpted chainstay protection you get it underneath as well chain retainer there swap storage in there with masses of i mean literally from there all the way up to there is free for whatever want you shove in there you got your little multi-tool on the back there you got bottle cage standard full-size bottle fits under the shock uh classic horse link back end plenty of tire room uh gx uh, GX Crank, X Fusion Dropper Post, right size stem and bar. It's just, yeah, it's just sorted. Sorted. That's what it is. Properly, properly sorted. It's bloody good value as well, this. And the low setting is proper corner hookingly stable. Feels really, really slammed and it pushes into that travel nice and easily, but still supports really, really well. For getting onto the side knobs and it's also just a really really forgiving setup in terms of suspension you know ballpark pressures and dial adjustments work absolutely fine such a great package just rides so well even before you start talking about all those genuinely innovative features and the geometry versatility just pumps it turns it flows it floats it looks after you when you get it massively wrong it's just so easy to ride almost deceptively easy to ride because you've got that smoothness but still that excellent support for pushing into berms for dipping the bars not dabbing the brakes even when the berm isn't there and then so soft and considered on landing when you need to pop something plus it just centers you really really well in the bike I think that's the real gift of this geometry and I know on the alloy bike I ended up running as slack and low as possible but actually this just in 
it's kind of neutral default setting. So good. So not only is the bike reasonably light, just over 14 and a half kilos for this S4 without pedals, but that specialized FSR four bar linkage. It's not the sharpest pedaling setup. Always feels like you're slightly taking the nose off. Pedal stroke at the start, but it just rolls up and over stuff so easily. You just don't have to think at all about traction. And then got a relatively fast rolling Eliminate a T7 tire on the back to add a bit of rolling speed as well. And what I've always found on specialised bikes is, well, they don't feel that punchy out of the gate by the end of a long ride. They've just kind of saved you energy from the kind of mellowness. So. They really, really come into their own in the dying stages of a ride. In terms of kicking ass of other people, having not kicked your ass the whole ride. Does that make sense? Basically, yeah. They save you a bunch of energy. That's what I'm trying to say. And that comfort and fatigue reducing efficiency, obviously, Works brilliantly out on big rides. Well, the short travel sum jumper, it's obviously significantly lighter with the flex stays on the back. Personally, I don't think it pedals as well. So I'd pick this for pretty much everything. Unless I was going for epic Evo for really super light down country, cross country work. And even the kind of spec almost plays into that waiting game. Yeah, that sticky tire and that more mellow, neutral pedaling action. Kind of means it doesn't run that fast at first, but once you get some time into it and everybody else is kind of getting beaten up or losing traction, but then this bike just carries on accelerating all the way through the section or through the ride, whichever it is. And it just feels so secure and sorted. Just enough extra travel to take on whatever's under these leads without any concerns. And stitching in the tires to cope with it as well. So you can stay high on the takey rooty line. And this is a, a real jank fest that I normally do on something local and steel from Kotick so good to be doing it on some California carbon for a change and like you say that RX tune is remarkably well sorted on this bike and that old FSR kinematic I mean they don't actually own the patent on it anymore so it's free to use, I kind of fiercely defended it for, oh God, decades. Oh, morning, sorry. Good morning, sorry. Thanks very much. But now it's, but it's still very much a heart of a specialised riding experience. And this is a great example of just how good it can feel because you've got that geometry to make the most of it. Nice little step out from the purgatory there, keeping it loose because the back end's relatively short. Playful on this as well. I mean, it's it's kind of proportional. There's, I think there's three different sizes across size ranges, so it's not one for every size. But yeah, at least they are making an attempt towards proportionality. I mean, there are so many good bikes in this category now. You've got. Canyon Spectral, the value, you know, got special Santa Cruz High Tower, top end, evil offering with sensational suspension. So many good bikes. This 160, 150 region. 
But this just feels like a genuine sweet spot of all the things that are brilliant about modern super trail bikes. The fact that you can set it up properly downhill slack. The quality of the frame that just means it's got superb upgradability. How good the suspension is when you plow it into the backside of a jump like that. It's just so sorted and a great mix of just playful yet forgiving. At the end of the day, just massively fun. Plus, you can put your anorak and your porky snack in it and still have room for an inner tube. Yeah! Oh, this storm jumper, carbon comp, comp carbon, whatever. It's just a brilliant super trail bike for the money and for so many riders. That's been sick. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Boom. That is sick, isn't it? Oh, sick. <laughs> so funny. If you fancy, get one, an S Works one like George yeah, has. One. And if you're into your Lancashire tech, I'll be uh, talking about that HB916 soon as well. So Jim's been getting in some serious time on that. So there you go. Hopefully, you know, multiple runs on the same trail hasn't proved too monotonous. I've certainly really enjoyed riding here at Steel City and it's a great place to come and get some progression without getting filthy, even though conditions are currently rank around here. But most of all, this bike is genuinely genuinely a superb example of just how good a modern trail bike could be and it pushes many of those attributes to a, a real extreme in terms of the ease of the geometry adjustment the range of the geometry adjustment the fact it has more internal storage than anything else the fact the suspension is so sorted and in terms of getting that top quality carbon frame with a really good workaholic spec of suspension uh, top rated tyres, uh, decent SRAM gear on it as well. It's just such a proper sweet spot package. And if you don't like it in baby blue, it comes in brown as well. So yeah, what more do you want really? I mean, well, you could want an alloy bike, in which case you get the alloy version of it, or you might not need all the geometry adjust features, in which case you could just get a status which rides very similarly but it's mullet but then you could also get the aftermarket mullet linkage for this which means you can run a 27.5 rear wheel so it really is you know or you could just you know buy this basic bike then upgrade it with lighter wheels get some roval carbon bars in or whatever brand you want in there but you know it is just a proper epicenter of all-round excellence is this beast if only i could get the name right george yeah what am I talking about again? So hang on, I'll do the yeah. So subscribe, click for notifications, give it a thumbs up. Massive thanks to my Patreon subscribers. And then Georgia is actually going to come over and tell you what this bike is actually called because I can never get it right. Georgia, guys, come on. called this bike so many different things today. This is the Specialized Stump Jumper Evo Comp Carbon. You Bye heard now. it, people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up, guy! What you got there? I've got a bicycle full of pastry and pork because this Georgia is the specialised Stump Jumper Evo Comp Carbon with SWAT technology including a SWAT anorak and Kendall's finest pork and pastry oh. treats. For anyone... Oh, Plus wait. you can get an inner tube in there as well. That's fine. And due to the sophistication of the RX tune and the uh, Flotex shock and 150mm of carefully metered travel, it's not even any pastry damage within the product. Marvellous. <laughs>